Welcome to Let's Play Corvette Part 2. In this segment, back to the amateur arcade we go for the C2 class. Or C2 generation thing. Yeah, anyways, five more races, starting with our first race at Angel Hills Alternate Twist. And, well, we have to choose from 63 to 67. Only four years, okay. Actually, five years. Man, C2 didn't last long. <laughs> Also, now we can choose between convertibles and coupes. Ooh. Isn't that swanky? So anyways, I'm going to start this off with the, C the uh, 63 coupe, because split window, yo. Gotta have the split window. And let's use this custom rainbow blue, because why the fuck not? So, off we go to our first race. Alright, so, um, we're starting this off as we've done with the first segment. Lots of fail. Lots and lots of fail. So, uh, hopefully we have a lot less fail this time. And stuff. So that'd be cool, because, you know, progress is good. Progress is very good. Let's win this fucking race for the glory of the split window. <clears throat> Cause split window master race, yo. So check out these hot new gauges, anyways. Something the hardcore <laughs> things hardcore kids say. Check out my hot new gauges. A supercharger on it. Yeah, upgrades. Her, her. Hello, Junior. iPads become fucking obsolete in like two seconds when they release a new one because Apple's. Apple is so stupid. It's like, hey, we just released a hot new thing. Alright, uh, fucking one month later. Hey, here's our hot new thing that makes the thing we released one month ago obsolete. Get it. Give us all your money. It's just like banana, 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 banana. Give me your money. Oh, I did not do that turn exactly right. As long as those two fuckers stay behind me. Momentum gone. No, get back here, damn it. Okay, make the pass. <laughs> Stupid dive. Where are you? Okay, I don't have to block. Hey, guess we finally won this race after five fucking attempts. I did. Suck it, Emmett, you piece of shit. Hermit Garrett Rhino win, finally. Ah. So we unlocked Angel Hills Alternate West and Custom Plasma Paint. Ooh. So let's move on to the next race at Rock Ridge Falls West. Let's check and see if it was the same as the alternate course, or the uh, course in the thing, the, the first thing, but no. So you know, fuck it, let's just go with the, uh, go by year. Let's go with the 64, since there's only five years of Corvettes here. Might as well use them all. So here's the Custom Plasma. Don't really care for it, so I'm just going to go with, uh, Daytona Blue. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Can we get a first attempt to victory here? That'd be, you know, really nice. So far, that's been very, uh, uncommon. <laughs> In this very early stages of this LP. <clears throat> so off we go. 64 Coupe. No longer Split Window Master Race. And off we go. Let's 
And still three speed, okay. Okie dokie then. You know what you need, Junior? You need a Nokia. Those things will survive. Light them on fire, aka play something really intensive on it. And they'll survive. Her, her. Nokia joke, anyways. Your Nokia meme, I mean. So that was an interesting jump the leader did. He just kind of leaped through the air. Like a badass. Now I close in because I have the superior acceleration top speed thing for some reason in this game. That's just how it works. It's like no matter what in this game, you have the better top speed. But they have the better handling. That's just kind of a constant. That really goes against my principles because, you know, I like having handling over speed. But in this game, I don't really have much of a choice. Oh my god, the car... That's another thing about this game. The car really, really bogs down sometimes. Like, especially around, like, 50, 60 miles per hour. At least it seems that way to me. I don't know if it actually bogs down like that, but it just... It definitely feels like it does. Like, if you have to slow down a lot for a turn, it's just like... Ugh. Oh shit, I forgot what part of the track I was on. Because I wasn't looking at the map. In fact, I wasn't looking at the game at all. Go me. I must win this race, damn it. For the glory of the split window. Excuse me. Sir or madam, can't tell who's in that. Big slide, still sliding the car. Somehow gain time there, I'm not sure how. Of course, the fucking TV monitors across the track always shows exactly what you're looking at. Because, yeah. But hey, I won first try, finally. Ta da! I don't, I don't know. But. Yay, we win. Unlock the track. Got custom electric shock. Ooh. So, next up is the Ghost Rock Mine West. Area we haven't been to yet. And to the 65. Just gonna use the coupes instead of the convertibles, because I said so. So, let's see. Oh, that looks very interesting. Blue, green, and yellow. Yeah, fuck it. Let's use it. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Big construction area place. It's all be great. Hey, Verizon. <laughs> Verizon sponsorships. Can't believe they were a thing in 2003, damn. Cell phones go way back. It's just, nah. Yeah. Alright, so, off we go. Hey, Gold Strand sponsor. Remember the Gold Strand Corvette? Oh, God. Good first turn. To have a massive pileup. Well, as massive of a pileup as you can have with a five car field, but you know. <clears throat> you know, you know. This is like a fucking industrial park or some shit. I don't even know. Like a gravel pit. I forget like what this actually is called, but yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Make it around the turn. How? Oh, okay. I was going to say, how did I not lose second? And then I lost it. You fucker. You turned into me. What an asshole. Oh, God. Okay. I looked at the map and I'm like, oh god, this doesn't look like it's gonna be fun, and then you can just fucking straight line most of it. Oh, pff. Whoops. Did not mean, oh, we're going to the right, not to the left. Holy shit. I got faked out by the track. Hello. People are hitting me. 
Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. How you guys doing? New lap record. Upshifting would be a good idea. I just kind of waited because uh, that turn. Didn't want to lose momentum, damn it. Oh god, please make the turn. Okay, we made the turn. And we have a pile of Corvettes behind me. Dreamcast's release was in a very weird time, because, yeah, it was, like, between the PS1 and PS2. And, like, it was more powerful than PS1 by a lot, but it was not as powerful as, like, the six, actual 6th six generation consoles. So, yeah, it was, like, more of a 5 and a half thing. I don't know. Dreamcast was weird. Just the timing of it and the hardware and shit. Unfortunately, it failed, and Sega failed, and they got out of the console market, and all that shit. Also, I won the race. Yay! By 2.2 seconds. 2.27, to be exact. Ooh. Alright, so there we go. One thing I don't like about this results screen is, like... <laughs> just, like, RHINO, all caps, and all the actual names. I, I like having the results screen be, like, you know... The same for the player and the AI drivers, but yeah. I, I don't know. Anyways, we unlocked custom two-tone copper and the track I just raced on, so yay. So to race four, Amboy Crater West. Also another new area. Desert area. So to the 66 Corvette we go. And... Custom two-tone copper. Ooh, it actually doesn't look that bad. I like it. Let's go. Hey, we're racing. So yeah, a little desert town thing here, with a cave, gas station. Hey, a tire swing, I remember going on one of those. Oh hey, Route 66. I saw that game, you don't think I didn't say that, I saw that. Huh? So I guess this is like the Route 66 area. Because yeah, Route 66 is kind of a thing in this game. Oh god. Stop it. Remember that was track this uh area has a lot of like tight turns. Oh god. I'm really hoping um the Nintendo NX, since we're talking about like consoles and gone on to Nintendo in the chat. I'm really hoping the Nintendo NX is, like, not a fucking gimmick console, and just actual, like, hey, here. Here's a console, here's a controller, play the fucking games. Apparently Bestwick has nothing to say about Las Vegas. Probably got that rare glitch where no voice clip just plays at all. Oh god, that chicane. That, that's a chicane. I remember that chicane. I kind of just sailed through it because I'm cool like that, but yeah, that, that chicane is fucking awful if you fuck it up. Okay. As bad as that first lap was, finished it in second. Not bad. Excuse me. Oh god. Tight turns. Actually, now that I think about it, the Wii U is kind of in the same situation as the Dreamcast was. It's like stuck between console generations. Which is really weird.
excuse me. Because it's like, it's better than 7th gen consoles, but at the same time, it's not quite there with the 8th gen consoles. I, I don't know. It's just a strange thing, yeah. Through chicane, quickly, very quickly. So much more quickly than everyone else, because they like... Fucking, I don't know what they do with that chicane. They do it wrong, I know that much. Oh, we have a huge crash in the chicane. Three car pile up. One of them is stuck going backwards. We might have to wait here for results. Alright, well, there's results. They made it across the line. Eventually. So, yay. Hey, we got custom two tone bronze now. Ooh. Ooh. So, here we go. Final race. The 1v1 around Forest Drive West. So, let's get in the 67. Right, let's, let's drive the convertible just for a little change of pace. Yeah, let's check out what this custom bronze looks like. Two-tone bronze. Ooh, I like that. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Time for our next highway battle, man. Toge! Toge! <clears throat> I don't know. So here we go. Mono e mono. Corvette versus Corvette. Let's do this shit. Coupe versus convertible. And I have no idea what year his is, so meh. I can't see the plate. I think it's also 67. So, same year, bro. Hi. Oh, God. So you want to play dirty, do you? Is that how it's going to be? Honestly, what... One thing that really helped the PS3 was the success of Blu-rays over HD DVD. Like, HD DVD is dead. Absolutely fucking dead. Because Blu-ray kicked their asses so bad. That definitely helped out the PS3. Probably. Where the fuck is my opponent? How the hell is he so far behind? I swear he went backwards. Remember how the C2 that was the most OP card in GT1 arcade? Now it's here, it's just like. Rrr. Still 3 speed, by the way. It's weird, these. These things should be 4 speeds, I thought. I'm gonna take this shortcut. Because I said so. Yeah, Blu rays hold so much more space. so much more. And it's like, uh, for example, let's see. I think it was, uh, Final Fantasy 13. I think it had, like, multiple, uh, HD DVDs on the 360, but it only had one Blu-ray disc. So, you know. Yeah, PS3 was the cheapest Blu-ray player on the market for a while. Oh jeez, excuse me, okay. PS3 starting price was awful. And like, the actual like inner workings of the PS3 was also awful because of how fucking just difficult it was to develop for that system compared to the 360 in the Wii. Oh, so I'm kicking this guy's ass. I don't know what the fuck he did, but he hasn't fully recovered from it yet, and he'll probably recover now because I hit this SUV. Shit. 15 second lead at the line. I'm gonna stay on the main road this time. Or wait, no, I was on the main road last time as well. Shut up, me. Thinking of that other section with the uh, southeast end of the map.
Get out of the dirt. I'm out of the dirt. Excuse me. Okay. Almost got hit. But we're good. Yeah, most console release prices are pretty awful. What was the how much was the PS3 at launch? Like six hundred dollars, I think. Oh jeez. Okay, we're good. Oh, hey, look who's uh almost completely rubber banded back to me. Only four and a, four and a quarter or a third seconds ahead. Oh, hello, policeman. Come to fuck up my race right at the end. Oh, the low end PS3 is 500. Okay, so then that 360 was 400 at launch, wasn't it? So I'm pretty sure it was 100 bucks cheaper. Because marketing strategy, yo. Also, that police chase was uh, very eventful. Fucking lost him within like five seconds. Hello, look who's back behind me. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're good. Home stretch, I think. Yay, I did it. Alright, take that, Josie. Okay. So, yay, I won. And we get this victory video showing off a 63 and a 66. Convertible. Z. Convertible Z. I well, love how pointless this video is, but it's still cool. It's like, hey, I won. Yay, I won all C2 amateur arcade races. Woo! I did it. Hey, I unlocked hot lap mode. Unlocked all the C2 cars and the track I was on and two-tone gold. Ooh. Ain't that schwanky. So, there we go. That's one other segment down. So, next time on Corvette, we'll be doing the C3 arcade amateur class. Yeah, stay tuned for that.